sword. And start streaming. Hey everyone. Let's get this started. Uh Dewey had something. Oh, this is Dewey the robot, by the way. Uh Dewey had something they wanted to say. Hopefully you can hear him. Welcome to this special edition Minecraft stream at Palo Alto City Library. Today we're continuing to build the first official city library from 1904. <laughs> okay, thanks, Dewey. Uh, you're a star. Uh, let's get back to the... So to remind everyone, uh, this is what we're doing. This is what we're building, uh, and oh, oh, hold up, let me get my, my chat view going over here on the other view. So we're building the original, or the official, yeah, I, Molly, it was amazing, wasn't he? He's a smart robot, so. Uh, <laughs> Uh, let, let's continue our build today. Uh, and I was actually, I was shocked to see how much we did last time because I didn't remember. Yeah, I do. He's 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 a special robot for sure. He's got uh, for some reason he sounds like the Apple speech to text. I don't know why. It's just it's weird like that. Uh, okay, we got to turn this into set uh, time set. Day? I can never remember. Ah. Does anyone remember the command? I, we did this last time, but I'm kind of. Oh, it's nighttime now, and we are gonna continue. I think. I think I gotta do the roof next, but let's just let's get an overview of what we. So you remember last time we started with the foundation, and okay, we got this going. I'm gonna remind myself what we were. What was going on here? Okay. I think there were some questions about what... I couldn't find any photos of the back of the building. Um, if you'd like to help, head over to pahistory.org. You have to click the photo collection uh, menu option at the top of the, in the navigation bar there. I'm going to try searching on that. Oh, I should mention that QR code is... Uh, that goes to a book we have uh, that's published by uh, Palo Alto Historical Association. It's like... I forgot the title of it. It was like... Palo Alto Libraries, the first hundred years, or something like that. Um, but I forgot... I was going to bring a copy with me today. I actually have one at home. Um, maybe next time, so... Every Thursday this month, this time and place, we're going to hopefully finish this build and, um, oh, you know what? I forgot to do, I forgot to post the save file. Uh, okay. There is the Remaker Fair happening at this branch on Saturday. Uh, maybe I can get that done so people can... I'll, I'll, I might actually have Minecraft going while well, here. You can take a tour of this room, by the way. So, uh, what was it? 11 to 2? 11 to 2 p.m. this Saturday. We've got a big event over in the courtyard that way. I am in the reboot room here. And that's on the second floor where the old computer lab used to be. Near the sci-fi books, that area. Anyway, let's, uh, let's get this have this build going. I, I feel like this, what is really missing right now is we just need a few bookcases here to kind of spruce things up. Let's, okay, now it's a library. See, that's our first. Yay. Um, oh no. Oh no. Okay. Uh, I need to remember the commands for this. Play. 
weather. Set. No, no, no. Set. Oh, wait. Wait. Yeah, thanks, Molly. That's the link to the event page. I forgot that I did not add myself as uh, I'm playing under the library account today. And I'm going to make myself an admin so that I can do these commands. Hmm. Curious. So I guess that being the case, let's get the roof finished so we don't have to deal with this rain right now. Uh, just for reference again. Okay, yeah, last time I was kind of figuring out the pitch of the roof and how to... Yeah, that photo on the right is after the extension was built. We're starting with the, the one on the left, which was a Carnegie Library. Um, They all sort of have similar floor plans from what I've seen. There's websites about this too, but I mean, go back a hundred years. These are mostly like single floor type libraries, not very big buildings, which is good because I am just one person building this. So, uh, okay, here the hard part here is going to be getting this to. Oops, see, see what I did. By the way, how is everyone enjoying the heat right now? I hear tomorrow is the last. Or things are like, in the Bay Area anyway, things are supposed to start cooling down. So, yay for that. Today might be potentially the last. Whoops, look at that. Um, wait, wait a second, what did I do here? Okay. Uh, we're trying to be symmetrical here. I don't know why I lean back when I do this, as if it's a real sculpture, but um, I don't know, it just sort of makes sense. Uh, okay, what have we done? I'm missing the block there. And how about we just fill that in? I heard it might rain here next week. Maybe there was the potential for that. Ooh, okay. do I should link you to uh, there is actually a photo in this this photo archive with the actual floor plan let me get that okay, while we're doing that how about uh, say hi to Dewey uh, hey Dewey Dewey am I doing a good job with this build what do you think Talked again. Thanks, Dewey. Uh, okay. He's a very positive robot. He's got a lot of stuff. Okay, let's go to the photo archive here. If you type in Carnegie Library, I think it's on like page two or three.
Actually, here's another good one. Yeah, I'll post it in chat. Here. Check out this one. See at the bottom of that page, there's the Guy Miller Archives. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm not gonna try that. So, if you go to the Guy Miller Archives, which was the one of the bottom like links in that link that I just posted, uh, there's actually like of 14,000 items in here, so uh, I was gonna try to click through that. That's probably not a good idea. What we should do is maybe try to refine our search a little bit. So... Hmm. Actually, it would be better if I did it on this computer, right? For me. I need to add a browser window. Next time. Next time. Yeah, search. This photo archive. Quickly. But for now, let's get building because it's still raining and stuff. So, you know, like. Let's, let's get all my books. It's got soggy books in there. Horrible. You know what I haven't thought of is how is this going to. I guess we're just going to go like that. Right? Uh, it's pretty close to what... Yeah. Okay. Okay, now the fun part. We're just going to... Hopefully... The go. Oh no, except look what I did. Okay, line it up. rain on the books. It's definitely a... We got a mold issue going on in here. Uh, okay. Boom. If only it was that easy in real life. See, the trick is you gotta kinda get like. Start your cursor. Oh no. I know. Do a story time. I'll grab. I'll get this book. Uh, it's it's more like a pamphlet. Um, maybe we can read from some of the, the sections about the early. Kind of like the prehistory of this library system because I say prehistory because the building doesn't exist anymore. It's just, uh, it's a figment of our imagination. But there's probably yeah. You know, I bet we could find. I would be curious to know, like, what was actually in the collection at that point. Because I think, I mean, if we're going back in history here, uh, reading rooms, that was kind of like the main use of a lot of libraries. Because it wasn't until a lot later that there was actually, like, circulating stuff. A lot of times you had to read it there. Um, so you might get, like, a few copies of the daily newspaper or... 
you know, some of the, the classic literature, uh, that's what you call, want to call it. Um, uh, it's looking good. Look at that. The one thing that's not looking right to me... We definitely have the wrong... Uh, I wonder how we can fix that. You see the angle? The angle of that roof is not right. We should be more like this, not like this. But... It's right there. Uh, yeah. I can add some some fog effects. Now, uh, Kevin, we're trying to... I'm trying to... trying to save these books down here, because this is... this is a disaster. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, we gotta go back. How does the side one go? It's like... See, that part's gonna be... not as easy. I think we're gonna have to... we might have to fake this over here. I'm guessing that they did not have a roof like this. I think we can actually see from some of the photos, like the, the inside of this building. Doing, doing archaeology here today. Uh, yeah. Oh, and there's got to be some, some like columns in the middle here to hold up that roof. So, one of the mistakes I made when I put in the floor, I think these are, these are probably like support columns of some sort. Ooh, that. So, we'll just go back down here and... Well, for now, I'm just going to go like this. Hold up that roof. Oops. Yay, the roof isn't going to cave in now. feeling better already. It's it's looking like a building now. Okay. Uh so let's let's use our imaginations once again. Uh you're walking into this building. There's probably a front desk somewhere around here maybe. Guess they're like the books were probably on this side. <laughs> that that's uh So for folks who don't know, uh 
at Rinconada Library, we have... There's, like, some overflow books in the basement, but then we have also got this thing called the Z Collection. It's, like, more rare stuff. All of the newspaper microfilm, right? Uh, did I get that right? Uh, there are some treasures hiding under there, but it is not a... It's not as uh, user-friendly as this room is. Yeah, this is probably not... Good housekeeping from the 19... Yeah. That's my favorite year, actually, so I'm glad they have it. Uh, that was a joke, by the way. Uh, something like this. Probably like this. Probably... Oh, but we can't block that. Um, hmm. Hmm. Oh, that looks... That's kind of spooky. Speaking of the basement, look at this. I wonder what was actually, like, what... Because electricity wasn't as big of a thing back then, right? So it, there was probably some stuff about, like, uh, lanterns. Should I use the, this lantern? Uh, what do we think? This guy, this guy. You going amber, or we going turquoise, blue? Oh, someone's text alert happening there. Hmm. I'm saying this one. This one's looking a little too. To, um, it looks like those headlights that are you know, blue tinted on cars. Cars weren't even invented back then, right? Or there was probably there was probably like in 1904 in Palo Alto, maybe like three or four cars that people had. I don't know. Uh, does anyone know when, when we're like? Do we even have electricity at that point? I would. I would guess that, like, is this even before, like, the railroad stuff is connecting the... By the way, uh, I, I find it very interesting that the... So the history of Palo Alto and the internet are kind of intertwined. Um, from what I remember reading, anyway, this, this city location was kind of picked as, like, a in relation to the railroad that was going to be built up the peninsula. And then some of the early internet stuff is actually based on technology that was around like switching those railroad, like not, not lanes, but like being able to remotely control the tracks to like go from this track to that track. So it's like all connected in a way here because yeah, we there's a lot of internet history in this area. It's, but it's also connected to the railroads, which is an, which is also why this specific area has you know like was originally um, you know populated or whatever. So it's kind of a it's it's a little bit of yeah, it's like old tech and new tech kind of meeting. Uh, okay, and we could imagine this. This building probably had some early closing times because or did they just like have lots of candles everywhere? I don't know. I'm generating more questions than the answers right now. So this is not a this is not the best stream. Oh, I just had an awesome idea. Okay. Okay, let's see if this works. Uh I think it can spawn a villager, right? <laughs> oh, that's 
that's great. <laughs> of course he's got a pirate eye patch. Oh, that's that's wonderful. Um, okay. Let's let's we gotta keep moving. Let's keep going here. And how much time do I have? Oh wow, we got tons of time. Okay. See, this project actually was a lot faster than I thought it would be. Yeah, maybe this was... Okay, the debate before was like, were there windows in the back? I'm gonna say... No. Maybe it was just like... One of those, uh... He's saving... <laughs> yeah. Uh... What's that movie? Uh... No, no, a cartoon. Uh, Beauty and the Beast. Remember the, the the giant wall of books in some sort of, uh, we'll take like a ladder here. I think it was one of those, those, uh, library stacks. Right. See, isn't that funny? Uh-huh. Uh, sorry. Uh, A little dark here too. We can go like that. Oh no. Uh hey. What's over here? Oh, interesting. Okay. These are the... Hey, books. Uh... Yeah, this is not... I, I gotta make some room for tables and stuff. That's good. Also, kind of remember reading somewhere that uh, a lot of these Carnegie libraries had like glass dividers and stuff to you know help with the sound, the sound filtering in. So maybe I should. Yeah. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. We'll do something like that. this was the reading area. I know I, I probably got this completely wrong, but we will... Next time, let's go... Next week, we'll spend more time, like, in the actual uh, photo collection. Yeah! Look at that! It's, like, all... all soundproofed and stuff. This is a little weird, though. I'm going to fix that. Close it off with some... Hmm. Okay. Not my best work, but, uh, that'll work for now. Get some tables going. Ooh, but how am I going to do a table? Mmm, there is no table block. Oh, some of these are kind of funny, though. Oh, yeah. Okay, here's here's what's, here's what's going down here. I think we got some... Some, uh... Enchanting. <laughs> ooh, ooh, and there's another book book thing in here too. You can add a, a lectern.
Maybe one of them over here. Yeah, like that. That. And if I'm not mistaken, you can also put books on that. So here's all our enchanted books. What's that a funny one? So, uh, little speed, impaling, punch, protection. Piercing, loyalty. I, this is the curse of. Oh no, I can't add it that way. I think it has to be the book and quill. Once again, we are we are learning by doing here. So books don't work. Cuffus, <laughs> yeah. Uh, you can add a pen and quill though, and then we can say like, uh, hmm, what is this book about? Hmm. Oh, whoops. Oh. I hit shift too many times. Oh wait, wait, wait. Okay, I remember now. I think I have to. This is the patron code of conduct. Oh wait, I was supposed to do it here. Um, library rules. Sweet. All right. Did I? Wait, did I? Okay. Right. Oh yeah. All right, we got some policies in place. And yes, it, uh, we rule and we rock. Uh, you know, I'm feeling pretty good about this build right now. I don't know about you, but um, let's take a step back and see what's left. Minus my historical inaccuracies and um, what's the word? An anachronisms? Did I get that one right? It's like when things are like time traveling, but it doesn't really, that couldn't be. It's like those photos sometimes you see with like, um, oh, what's the one? There's a really funny one where it's like, uh, it's a meme of sorts where it's, it's like 1880s and there's a guy like in the background of this crowd shot and he looks like he has like um like steampunk goggles on but not like the real steampunk goggles like the costume steampunk or sunglasses or something like that yeah, there's a funny um i think if you if we google this there's uh there's probably a collection of this where it's I, oh yeah there's another one i remember seeing where it's like it looks like the person's holding a cell phone from like 1910 or something but obviously that couldn't be possible but uh yeah there's some funny photos like that funny or spooky depending on your on your worldview here um they could be time travelers who knows uh okay we gotta fill this in. Although maybe I shouldn't do any more. I'm kind of feeling like I should hold off on interior stuff until we figure out. I know there's more photos on there. Like in the collection that we can go go back and look at. So, hmm, okay. Oh, wait a second. There's a fireplace. Right. I mean, that kind of makes sense, right, Dewey? Because... It would be cold. That's right, Dewey. It would be very cold in that building without a fireplace. 
Uh, so where's our fire police gonna go? Maybe that's back here somewhere? Maybe... Okay. Fireplace is probably near, like, the tables in the reading area. Because... Heat. Fair travel. Yeah. So, how about... Hmm. We gotta section this off, too. This is probably not at all what it was like, but... Let's pretend for a moment that the fireplace is kind of like this. Okay, what's the fireplace made of? I have no idea. It needs to have a space for a plant on top. Is that a plant? We can do that part easy. But, uh... Brick, maybe? I don't really like this... that brick texture, though, so... Sometimes you gotta shop around in here for the right block. Hmm. Well, we can definitely do that part. Or do we do a furnace? No. No, that would look that would not look right. Uh, I'm thinking... Okay, we'll make it kind of match the exterior a little. Right, this makes sense. This is not... I need to build this out a little bit more, but... Something like this. Right? Oh, and I'm doing that thing again where I lean back in the chair as if that is... It's a 2D screen, Chris. It doesn't change when you move your head around. This looks kind of cool, actually. I, I actually impressed myself. Right, we'll go like that, and something like this. I know the scale is off, but uh, uh, no, uh, we can add a. Oh, I think it's a. It's called a. Uh, well, we can get some of that, but we need a... Oh, what 
what is that thing called? There's a... A flower pot. Yeah. And... Will that work? Alright, yeah. Historical accuracy. Woohoo. Um... All right. Well, the the quality of life in this building has definitely improved since we started. Uh, hmm. Oh, but you know what? Where did you go? That's great. Uh, everyone, wave goodbye to our uh, pirate librarian who is now. Uh, they're gone. Yeah, that's been cool. Let's get some lights on the outside now. Um, maybe I'll go with some. No, no, there's a better way. Um, sometimes I like to use glowstone. And I think we can maybe, like, hide it. I'll just do... Wait. Wait, do we have any... Yeah, there's definitely some trees and stuff that it can do on the outside. Oh, wait! Wait, I just figured it out. You see that? There is a chimney. It's... Towards... I think, I think we've got a chimney over here. It looks like it was more like this. Right? I'll try to line it up like the photo so we can... Okay, let's look again here. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely, like, the back left side. Hmm. And you know what? This is totally wrong, too. I gotta... These should be more, like, up there. And maybe here. So here's what I found with Minecraft creative mode is like you have to you have to start start with the big structure get the walls done but it's really all in the details after that like it doesn't it's not enough to just have a wall when you're doing 3d design you have to do what's called barnacling where you take like there should be a large object and then a smaller object next to it, like like barnacles on a ship. Like you gotta you gotta cluster your details so that it looks like there's a lot there's a lot of stuff. Just look around the room where you are right now. There's a lot of stuff that is small details hiding in like the cracks of the wall. There's a there's a small wood border along the wall. The lights are not just lights. There's there's some border around the lights. There's a little bit of uh, the carpet texture in here is not perfect. There's some randomness to it. Like if you can build that into your design, it's gonna look more realistic. So that's why we're taking the time to do these uh, silly little roof things here. Uh, and thankfully, it's just a couple clicks, so we can kind of go around the building. Whoops. Uh, 
Oh. Oh, I don't like that, though. Like, it doesn't... How are we going to even this up? Okay, let's go back to the... Well, it's not... I can't get a, a block smaller than that to make these look right, but... Close! Uh, I think I'm just going to go like that to... I will not force you to watch me go around again and fix the spacing here, because obviously this is different now, but... Uh... Yeah, I think, like, maybe we should hide that a little bit, or I should replace those blocks. Just in the front of the building, that doesn't look right. And, you know, I wish I had realized there was this block... Keep going with it. It's not done, but um, I'm making progress here. Uh, I think we can get some maybe some rose bushes going on around here. Just to kind of because again, go back to the go back to our reference. There's definitely some stuff around the edge. Uh, I'd like to show you guys how to... You can actually plant trees in here. So let's do... Yeah, let's do one of those sidewalk trees. And maybe that's another addition we could make is... Um, a little brick pathway here to the street. Whoops. And let's hit some trees. So to do this, you gotta start with some... You know, we're gonna do one of each. Just so you can all see what these look like. They're actually a little easier to take down to. And we need a uh, bone meal. So, okay, let's go somewhere over here. And then you're like, wait, why is that not working? Wait, did I do this wrong? There we go. Okay. Apparently that one doesn't work that way. Uh, try to line it up. Mm. Yeah. And we'll get a few more over here. This is just for demonstration purposes. Uh, okay, what do we want to go with here? I'm thinking this. This one. That one's kind of funny too. get back to that. Um, Dewey, we're getting close to the end of this, this stream. What are you... What are you thinking? That's not Dewey? Wait, speak up, Dewey. We can't hear you. Don't forget. 
Yeah, 200. Oh. That's some really good advice, Dewey. I should drink some water, because it is extremely hot outside right now. So, <laughs> uh, drink water. Thanks, Dewey. Uh, that robot has such good advice. Uh, okay, enough of that. Enough of that gag. Um, oh, whoa. Actually, check out that palm tree. Obviously, this is not... That's not part of the original building. That photo is from the extension later on. I think it's like 20 years later they built, you know, to hold more books. Uh, I don't think we can necessarily get a palm tree made here. I might be able to take like I bet we could take it. If we took down all of this and there's a few newer blocks they've added with these leaves. Oh, here's another cool thing you can do. So we're jumping ahead here, but you know, all the all that was it ivy and stuff over on this side. I'm gonna try to make this like. Oh, I can't actually place it there. Yeah, for added realism, we're going to make it not symmetrical. Did I do too much though? Was that? Let's look at this again. Oh, don't forget that QR code. Uh, that will take you to. And you know there might actually be an ebook version of that too somewhere. Um, try googling it. I think actually Internet Archive has some of this stuff as an ebook. So uh, I should add that next time. Note to self. Um, Okay, we've got mm, five-ish minutes left. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh! Yay! Uh, sorry. Um, yeah. Actually, there, there's a story about horses and one of the first librarians that worked here because back then, like, there weren't bookmobiles, but there was some book delivery happening with horses, like, on horseback. I want to say this was in, like, Monterey County, not in Palo Alto, but, um, does anyone remember? There's, I've read this somewhere. I'm not making this up. It's too, too oddly specific. Um, maybe we talked about it on a stream a while ago. Um, but yeah, there, maybe there were some, some people here who had their, oops, who, uh, oh, oh, wait, I need a, um, I can't just do that to a tree. It has to be a fence, I think. We gotta do like that. Yay. Okay. That's the pirate librarians uh hey, is the library open today where are the restrooms uh 
Uh, they're on break right now. Uh, oh, sorry, I lost my train of thought here. Oh, oh, after this, um, we have started doing. I don't know if I mentioned this last week. We have started doing drop-in tech help stuff here. So Thursdays and Fridays, 1 to 3 p.m. You can stop by. No appointment needed uh, to get your help with ebooks and our e-library things. We also have appointments now. So that's after. That's like the in the 3 to 5.30-ish range. You can go to our website and actually like book yourself directly. Oh, my video got all choppy all of a sudden. Maybe that's my sign to uh, log out sooner rather than later. So, wait, what's going on here? Something just, something just blew up on my phone. Uh, I think that's all we got for today. I will so I promise, a pinky promise this time to post the save file. So. If you're watching this, you can take the sort of starter template and please, I am eager to see uh, my my building and creative mode deficiencies. I'm sure there's some people watching this who have logged a lot more hours in Minecraft than me. Uh, so let's see what you got. This is the first Palo Alto library. There's a lot of stuff in the Palo Alto Historical Association, this pahistory.org website that you can go to. We got reference material. Um, there's no video, of course, because, you know, hadn't been invented yet. Or I think it had, but it probably was not. It wasn't, um... Oh, maybe it was, actually. Yeah, we, we do have a collection of really old film here that was digitized a couple years ago and you can google it it's uh california revealed it was basically one of those grand things where we sent some some films that were i believe actually in that rinconada basement we were talking about before uh another librarian here chris not this chris but the other chris did some like quality check stuff because a lot of those things break down and you can't recover them if it's too late uh, but we got those digitized. It's mostly like the children's theater stuff, but there's some other um, sort of old films of not just from like yeah 1930s and beyond, but some some interesting things there. I'm getting off track here. Uh, but the, that speaking of uh, vintage film, you should also know about the Vintage Media Lab, uh, which is also in this space. It's called the Reboot Room, Second Floor Mitchell Park, if you're joining uh, late in the stream. Newly reopened. Vintage Me Lab's a little different than our other stuff. There is an appointment system. We have to register in advance, and then we will schedule you because we've only got one of each type of equipment. But in the Vintage Me Lab, we've got basically every type of scanner or uh, we got some stuff for audio, we got some stuff for VHS tapes, you can take your old memories, you can convert them to digital, you walk away with your thumb drive or your USB stick. Uh, it's a very, it's a very uh, streamlined process once you get, once you get in the room. Uh, I think that's all we got for today. I can see the clock is running out. I look forward to being here next week with you, Thursday. 12 o'clock. We're doing it all month. We're gonna finish the building. <laughs> That's all. Let's let's take one more look at what we what we got done today. Uh oh, mercy there. We found out that that was wrong. <laughs> I put this in the wrong area. Um Oh yeah, we got some we get some rules in place, which is very important because you got to return those books. Uh, that's kind of how it works. Uh, yeah, I'm really glad we got the roof done too, because now, yeah, much more pleasant inside. Okay, that's all for now, folks. Uh, Chris signing up.